We have some super exciting news that just come out. Yes, this is for those on a fixed income. We have been doing the research, a bill guaranteeing a cost of living increase. Yeah, it's some very, very exciting news for those on a fixed income. So security, SSI, SSDI, VA survivor. Yes, this video is primarily just for you. We also have the states that are sending out stimulus checks this year. You're not gonna wanna miss that information, but we gotta say happy Memorial Day. I hope that you guys are having a great day today. We wanna give our respects and uh, honor to those that served and uh, definitely appreciate the service and all of you who have uh, been in some sort of any type of military uh, personnel, we definitely appreciate that. Thank you so much. Happy Memorial Day. But yes, we have a ton of information to get into. But before we dive in, we want to give back and say thank you for just being a part of the channel, for loving and supporting and just sticking with us. That's why every Friday we're giving away one lucky subscriber $25 Amazon gift card. You have a chance to win. Just hit that subscribe button to join the family. And if you appreciate this news and all of the updates like this information that just come out, make sure to smash that like button. With all of this news, let's get into it. So a bill guaranteeing a cost of living increase. Yes, this is some very, very exciting news considering the fact that many of you last year said it wasn't enough. I know the increase kicked in like the last check in uh, December going into January, and it simply was just not enough. But what they're doing is they've come together, collaborated, saying a bill to guarantee a cost of living increase is heading to the president's desk. They've come together to give you guys a better chance of getting more money. A legislation giving those on a fixed income a cost of living adjustment on benefits in 2024, likely to result in an increase in payments, is headed to President Joe Biden's desk for signature following an agreement by the House. So again, this article came out with information considering that it's going to give you guys an increase for the cost of living. The annual procedure done by Congress guarantees that veterans and other pensions or disability payments will keep pace with increases to Social Security, Supplemental Security, and Federal Disability Income Payments. All of these tie in from Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA Survivor. All of this information, which is an annual procedure, where they go in, they get this legislation together, they get it ready, they get the bill that guarantees more money. It's in guarantee to say that we're not going to go based just on these key factors, but we're going to make sure that no matter what factor they take into, uh, into consideration, you're getting more money. That's the whole point. You get more money. The exact amount of next year's increase has not been yet determined. It's based on the consumer price index for urban wage earners and clerical workers and usually is the announced at the start of a fiscal year sometime in October. However, a national advocacy group, which is the Senior Citizens League, is currently projecting it to be around 3.1%. Social Security recipients and veterans this year saw the largest boost to their COLA in nearly four decades at 87 rise based on high inflation they experienced in 2022. Some years, however, the increase seems significantly smaller and at times has been at zero, which that to me doesn't make any sense. Every year, you guys should be getting just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Things go up in prices, certain things, you know, depending on where you live, depending on all of this takes into effect, how much money you're getting. Because again, Three dollars and fifty, you know, uh, three dollars and fifty cents of gas is expensive to me because typically it was two dollars and fifty cents. Now, to someone in California, three dollars and fifty cents might be a great thing. And again, it's depending on where you live. But uh, yet again, our veterans put their lives in the line to defend our freedom, and they they definitely deserve certainty when it comes to providing for the family as well as those Social Security recipients, SSI, SSDI, Survivor. Again, all of this information just come out, and guess what? They're wanting to take the responsibility to make sure that you have a way to take care of your family. 
it's just a guarantee to make sure that when it comes, the paycheck comes every single month, it's just a little bit more to put in your pocket. So that is some very, very exciting news. Yes, they did come up you know, with agreement with the debt ceiling crisis. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, Biden announced today that, yeah, they, they pretty much made a deal. Now, we'll see how much later that plans out. Because remember, the Democrats were not wanting to give in on some things. The Republicans were wanting to give in and not give in on this, give in on that. And again, they came together, they compromised, and they made some sort of a deal. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to unravel what they actually did. Now, for the states that are sending out stimulus checks this year, there are seven states that are actually doing that. I know yesterday when we had a live stream, several of you were asking about Arizona, Alabama, Texas, Louisiana, I mean, all these states, uh, Michigan, Ohio, Wyoming, uh, Wisconsin, Montana, and uh, unfortunately, they haven't done anything just yet. But right here on the screen that just come out, seven states considering more stimulus checks in 2023, beginning with California, then you've got Idaho, then you've got Maine, New Jersey, New Mexico, Pennsylvania, and South Carolina. Those are all of the states as of yet that are still sending out stimulus checks this year, considering to send more or are projecting to send more. So all of these uh, estates will be sending at some point stimulus checks out, which is very, very exciting. I just wish that every state would do it. But guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for all your prayers for my sister-in-law, Mia. She is back home. She had to have stitches and uh, I think it was like 80-something stitches. Yeah, it was a pretty bad cut. But uh, she is doing good. She's doing good. She's doing okay. But we definitely uh, want to, I appreciate, want to thank you for keeping her in your prayers. And uh, thank you guys for being a part of this channel. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will continue to bring you some more information. I've got more on the way. We're going to keep looking. I really like to wait till, you know, like a certain time between 7 and 8 and see if they post any updated information. Like that one uh, one information we found where they were going to make a phone call at 930, but they posted it at 730. So we're going to see if any other information comes out. We'll definitely keep you updated. It's our job. So if you would, if you didn't mind, hit that subscribe button and then smashing that like button so that way we can keep bringing you this news. Guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.